Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you three interesting effects that you can try in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. As you know, Doodly's main effect is drawing graphics and text on a whiteboard. But with a little creativity, you can pull off a few additional tricks. Today I thought I'd share a few with you. The first one is built in, but a lot of people seem to have trouble with it. And the other two are a bit of a workaround that allow you to get the desired effect. So let's start with the first one, erasing. This is the built-in effect I was talking about. After all, if you're drawing on a whiteboard, you're eventually going to want to erase. How do I erase just the text? A lot of people want to have the scene stay the same and have the speech bubble change. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. First thing you're gonna to want to do is right click and choose duplicate. Now let's go back to our first scene, scene settings, and make sure that exit animation is turned to none because we don't want a transition. Now we go back to our second scene here and we want to make sure the duration is set to zero and that there are no delays set. So I'm just turning this all to zero because we don't want the hand to redraw everything, right? So you'll notice now the scene is about half a second long. You can adjust this if you'd like. And now I have my half second scene. I'm gonna duplicate it one more time. So I right click, duplicate, and I have a third little mini scene here. So I'm gonna go back to my second one and I'm gonna click what I want to erase. In this case, I wanna erase just the text. And I'm gonna go to my gear icon. Right here, exit animation. I'm gonna change that to erase. By default, it's set at three seconds. I think one and a half seconds will be fine for our purposes. Click apply. So now when we go from this scene to our third scene, this is gonna erase. Now we're not done yet. Let's go to the third scene. We don't wanna just put in the new text that we just erased, right? So we're gonna go here and we're gonna change it to our new text and make our adjustments. Now we're not done yet. We want to draw this on. We don't want it to just appear. So let's say two seconds to draw it on. So let's go ahead and preview it. So we've got our speech bubble. How do I erase just the text? I want new text to appear. Now the reason I don't tell it to erase on my first scene is because I want a little bit of a gap before the erasing happens. And what happens is once you assign the exit animation, what seems to happen is the hand draws it on and then it immediately erases it. We want to have the ability to put a bit of a gap there. So if I go back to my first scene, go to scene settings. Now I can add a little extra time at the end, let's say two seconds, so that we have time to read that text before it erases. And now if we hit preview, we'll see our speech bubble. How do I erase just the text? A little bit of a gap there, and then finally it erases and the new text appears. So that's the erase effect. Let's take a look at some of the others. The next two effects are basically a stop motion type effect. So let's take a quick look at them. That's your glitch effect. And here comes the stop motion effect. They're very basic. They are a little bit jittery because we do have some limitations within the software, but they're kind of fun to use sparingly. So the glitch effect, as you saw, basically it was just two different colors of text cycling through and I did move the gray text just a few pixels over so that there's a little bit of movement there. And then the stop motion effect, obviously it was a 
a dime, I think, rolling in. And it's just basically scene after scene after scene with slight changes. So let's do one real quick, okay? So we have our text. We, once again, wanna make sure that there is no exit animation. So I'm gonna turn that off. An extra time at the end, it has to be 0.5 seconds. So that's just the shortest that it'll go with Doodly. So just leave the default. And that's really the limitation. That's why it's so jerky, because you have half a second before each scene changes. So we'll have the hand draw it on initially, and then on the subsequent ones, we wanna turn the drawing off. So let's go ahead and duplicate it. And on the second one, we go over here and we make sure to set that to zero. And then we just duplicate over and over and over. Okay, that should be good enough. Now we go over to every other one and we just change the color. We could try, let's try red this time. See what that looks like. And you do that by clicking the gear icon and just changing the color here. Okay, so now if we want to move our graphics slightly, you just use your arrow keys. Do the same, I'll move this one down a couple pixels and over. Don't need to be super precise, you know, we're just going for a fun effect. So let's take a look at that. Preview, let's fast forward a bit, here it comes. And that was super easy to do. You use the same exact technique for any sort of stop motion. So it's just a simple matter of duplicating your scene, turning off the transition, and then moving the item that you want to move a few millimeters over at a time. So let's do a quick stop motion of a ambulance zipping across the screen. So we're gonna start with a brand new scene. And first, let's add a background. We have a little city scene here. And that should be fine. I don't want any of this stuff drawing. So I'm gonna turn all of my durations to zero. Only movement in this case that I want is my ambulance. We'll add our ambulance. Let's get its size appropriate. So I think that's a good size for this scene. Now, we want it to start off camera here, okay? So what we need to do is shrink our scene a bit and move it off. We can be peeking through if we'd like. Now, scene settings. No transition, turn that off. Click apply and we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and right click, duplicate. And once again, I need to zoom out so that I can control my ambulance. And you can use your arrow keys if you want, or you can use your mouse. I think this will be good for the first one. I don't want it drawing, so turn that to zero. Let's go back to the first scene and make sure that's not drawing. So we need to turn that to zero as well. And we're now ready to just copy and move. So I'm going to right click, duplicate, drag my ambulance forward, duplicate once again, drag my ambulance forward. So now let's preview that sequence. Here it comes. And there's our ambulance zipping across the screen. And those are some fun effects that you can do in Doodly. Thanks for watching. Bye.